Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the heart and the blood circulatory system. As this is an a rough diagram of heart. Heart. Heart is a muscular four chambered pumping organ. which is present in our thoracic cavity thoracic cavity is the cavity enclosed by our ribs so it is present in thoracic cavity in between the lungs but slightly tilted to the left not in the middle slightly tilted to the left now the size size of heart human heart is given in ncert is similar to a clenched fist clenched fist means band mutthi so human heart is uh, similar to size of clenched fist and now and in ncert term is name as pericardium pericardium is a protective covering it's a bag like covering which is made of two layers which is present outside the human heart for its protection and uh, in between two layers pericardial fluid is present which reduces the friction during the pumping action of the heart and in ncert uh, term is there that human heart is made up of uh, is a mesodermally derived organ heart is a mesodermally derived organ what is this mean during our embryonic stage our body is uh, made up of uh, made by three germ layers named as ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm as the name indicates ecto means outside meso means middle and endo means inside ectoderm forms skin and nervous system whereas meso forms uh, heart and kidney like organs whereas the uh, endoderm forms our digestive tract and uh, its associated uh, organs like liver and pancreas so this is about the heart now let's talk about the anatomy of the heart as the heart is four chamber four chambers in which two are upper and smaller named as atria and two are lower and larger called as ventricles so this chamber is called as right atria and uh, this larger chamber which which is present in the right side is called as right ventricle and this chamber is called as uh, left atria and uh, this is called as left ventricle and now discuss about septum septum are the muscular walls first is interatrial septum
interatrial septum is present in between right and the left atria which is a muscular wall and uh, in between right ventricle and left ventricle there is present inter ventricle septum so this is the interventricular septum which uh, separates the right and the left ventricle and uh, the right the atria and the ventricle of the same sides are uh, divided by atrio ventricular septums so this is the atrio ventricular septum this is the right side and this is from the left side both side and uh, in between the atrio ventricular septum some openings are found which uh, let the blood flow from uh, atria to the ventricles these are called as valves so in between right atria and right ventricle this wall is called as tricuspid wall tricuspid wall is a, a three cupped uh, muscular flaps present uh, at the atrioventricular septum which is an opening so this is present in uh, right atria and uh, right ventricle and the second is a uh, bicuspid or uh, mitral wall bicuspid or mitral wall is found in between uh, the left atria and left ventricle on their atrioventricular septum so this is present in left atria left ventricle and uh, the blood is a uh, flowed in uh, some arteries and veins this is aorta this is vena cava and the blood from the right ventricle goes to pulmonary artery this is pulmonary artery through another wall which is called as semilunar wall this is called as pulmonary semilunar wall semilunar walls are of two type the semilunar walls which are of pulmonary and aortic pulmonary semilunar wall is present at uh, right ventricle whereas aortic semilunar wall is present in the left ventricle this wall leads to the flow of the blood to the aorta which goes to the outside to the heart and uh, flows to the all over bodies so and uh, these cups bicuspid or tricuspid cups are uh, attached to some threads called as chordae tendini there last end is attached to the papillary muscles of the ventricle these chordae tendini fibers helps the cups to attain at their position during the pumping so they do not uh, give backward motion and uh, prevent the back flow of the blood and uh, all these valve valves has a single purpose to prevent the back flow of the blood so so let's discuss about the blood circulation in our body so as these are the lungs 
फ्रॉम द लंग्स ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड कम्स टू द लेफ्ट एट्रिया बाय द हेल्प ऑफ पल्मोनरी वेन्स दे आर फोर पल्मोनरी वेन्स इन ह्यूमन्स these four four pulmonary veins open in left atria and this left atria provides the blood to the left ventricle by the opening of bicuspid valve and uh, this left ventricle pumps the blood to the aorta by the opening of aortic semilunar valve and this aorta provides the blood to the tissue for its demand of nutrition and the gases exchange and this tissue makes the blood deoxygenated so from there deoxygenated blood starts this tissue the blood of a deoxygenated which is collected by veins and this vein drains the blood into the right atrium with the help of vena cava vena cava is the largest vein so this right atrium provides the blood to the right ventricle by the opening of a tricuspid valve and uh, this deoxygenated blood is again delivered to the lungs by the help of pulmonary artery so this is the overall blood circulation of the heart and uh, from lungs to tissue this is oxygenated blood from tissue to then lungs it is called as deoxygenated blood this is the overall circulation of the blood in our body so coronary circulation as the human heart is a muscular structure its own muscle needs blood for nutrition and uh, gases exchange heart do not absorb uh, the blood which comes in its chamber it has a special blood vessel circulation which is named as uh, coronary circulation as uh, the blood oxygenated blood which is flowing in aorta to coronary artery differentiated from aorta which provide the blood to the heart muscle heart muscles use this blood for their gaseous exchange and nutrition demand and uh, make it a deoxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood uh, from all over the heart is collected by coronary vein and the coronary vein drains the blood to the coronary sinus this coronary sinus opens in a right atrium and this oxygenated blood which is delivered to the right atrium mixes with the deoxygenated blood which comes from all over the body so this is the heart and the blood circulation of the body and the coronary circulation
Thanks for watching and keep supporting.